So Saturday night, that means it's time for some basketball breaks. We've got some baseball tonight too, though. Um, basketball is up first. So if you are here for um, the Topps Clearly Authentic Baseball, that one is a little bit later in the evening. None of the basketball really takes a very long time tonight. So if you're here for baseball, don't wander too far off, but you do have a few minutes. So we're going to open some 2015-16 threads with some 16-17 mosaic. Then we'll open some timeless treasures, followed by, I think, innovation, and then maybe leaf basketball, and then the private signings. And then the top's clearly authentic. I know that sounds like a lot of stuff, but almost all that basketball, uh, you know, are, are uh, boxes without a whole lot of cards in them. The first break is probably the longest one. So if you are here for baseball, you do have a few minutes before we'll be starting that, but not like a ton of time. To kick things off tonight, we have one box of 15, 16 threads and one, uh, uh, two boxes, sorry, of 16, 17 Panini Prism Mosaic Basketball. And this is the first time we have broken those products in this particular combination. Of course, we've broken those products individually uh, or in combination with other things lots of times. So you'll find team names on the left, winning bidders across from it. There's tons of teams in here that are unsold. Those are all designated as no bids buyback. And those little orphan teams, if anything comes out for one of them, it'll just hang out here with me and join the ever-growing pile that is Card Mountain. That spreadsheet will go up before each break. So that was just to... Uh, that was just to show who is in the first break we're doing tonight. And then, of course, you know, each subsequent break will have its spreadsheet displayed as well. Shipping-wise on the things that we're opening tonight, um, anything that has paid shipping, in other words, you know, it wasn't free shipping, look for that stuff to go out most likely on Wednesday. That is primarily because we have um, no mail on Monday due to the holiday, so that backs everything up a little bit. So probably on Wednesday, the stuff that uh, has paid shipping, anything that is free shipping, that was zero dollar cost shipping, that stuff is going to go out uh, once every roughly six or seven days. And that's just, honestly, that's just so I can keep offering things with free shipping and so that I can offer even more things with free shipping than I have been. And that's just to kind of keep it a little more cost effective by uh, sending the free shipping stuff out roughly once, once every six days or so, six or seven days. And, and obviously if you have some some paid breaks, some breaks with paid shipping, I should say, that go out before that. Of course, anything you had from free shipping is, uh, would, you know, hitch a ride and get to you a little sooner. Uh, our teams that are unpaid tonight, guys, please go ahead and get your payment in on that as soon as you can. You know I have stopped marking them as unpaid on the spreadsheet. I stopped doing that a while ago. Uh, but you do still need to get the payment in for the breaks that are currently unpaid. So let's take a look here and see what we can find in threads and we'll open the mosaic after that. And of course on the mosaic, there's a Montrez Herald. This is, um, these cards are called Leather Rookie and um, you only find them in threads. So they're pretty cool little cards, kind of textured and a little bit thicker. And the bonus shots are numbered. This one is numbered to 99. It's probably kind of hard to see on there, but it's right there by his foot, numbered to 99. So the deal with the mosaic, if you guys haven't done a break with it before, is it was sent out as basically to go with replay. You know, Panini released replay and it maybe wasn't quite as nice of a product as it could have been. I mean, it is a nice product, but it didn't have as many big name hits in it, I think, as people were expecting. So as a result, 
it didn't sell as well as maybe they were expecting. So to kind of boost that up, they later, several months after the fact, added those boxes of mosaic for, um, you know, to go with the boxes of replay. A little Trey Lyles for the Utah Jazz, and that one makes me happy, of course, because he used to play for UK, which is where I went to school. So I'm pretty psyched to see a little Trey Lyles rookie. This one is first in the series as well, number one of 199. And, of course, Trey got uh, traded in the off season, so he'll be, I think, with the Suns now, right? I think. Just let, how are you? You've got Spurs and Oklahoma City, huh? All right, well, let's see what we can find for you in the way of Spurs and Thunder. A little Rashad Vaughn for the Bucks. That's another one of the leather rookies. This is numbered. No, it's not numbered. I thought, yes, it is. <laughs> they just moved where it was numbered. I was like, yeah, I psyched myself out. That's numbered to 99 over there on the left-hand side. Always wonderful when I can't see what in the heck I'm doing. Thank you, bad eye surgery. <laughs> ah, well, what are you going to do? This one is numbered to 99 as well. A little Kyrie Irving Floor Generals. Of course, obviously, we know he's changed teams. Kenny Smith. And he is a broadcaster that is numbered to 115. So, Voices of the Game, Kenny Smith is going to end up uh, being distributed via random because he's. Obviously, there's no team designation on that one. He's an announcer in that capacity on that card. So we'll do random for that at the end of the break. A little Devin Booker leather rookie. And looks like we're going to have another hit for the Jazz, Carl Malone. And I was hoping that was going to be signed because that would have been pretty sweet for you. But that one is to 199. Um, you can see there's a little bit of chipping and edge wear and things on the sides and corners. And really, honestly, that's true of most cards when they even when they come out of the pack, but especially the thicker ones. A leather rookie for Nikolai Jokic for the Nuggets. And holy mackerel, another hit for the Jazz. So this whole box kind of is like the Utah Jazz. All right. So what, what what's going on there? That is to 199 with the Dante Exum. And then that uh, that's going to bring us into, I'm going to leave Kenny Smith up there. We still have to deal with him. But here's our packs of mosaic there. We're going to open them first before we deal with Kenny Smith. So the deal with Mosaic is there's no guaranteed autograph ratio for these because of the reasons that I explained, how it was released and all that stuff. But they say that autographs fall on average one every three boxes. So, you know, these were loose boxes that I purchased along with some other loose boxes that we broke last week. So, we may or may not have autograph hits in them, but of course the prism cards themselves with the mosaic pattern are still pretty desirable. And especially if we end up finding uh, some of our better rookies in here. And we are going to get lucky. We're going to have one of my other UK players and one of my personal favorites, Tyler Eulis. Sweet little hit in my opinion. And I'm going to tell you what, if Ty was a little taller, that guy would have been like top three pick. And the kid is amazing. He's just, unfortunately, you know, he's a little on the short side, right? I mean, but he's, he's a heck of a player. If they give him some time, some floor time, he's going to do all right. This is Brandon Ingram, rookie with the blue parallel. You can kind of see the edges of the border there are in blue as opposed to the silver and things that they normally are although I realize in general these are kind of hard to see the way the light bounces off of that uh, mosaic pattern is a little hard to see whoops there was a red parallel I laid down up there let's get that one back 
I had a red parallel already that went by for Dwight Howard. Here's another red parallel, Chris Paul. And yet another red parallel for Miles Turner. Well, Thon Maker rookie. I'm pretty excited to see that Tyler Eulis. That's that's pretty sweet. Kenneth Fareed for the Nuggets with the red parallel and Julius Randle with the blue parallel. And there's Carl Anthony Towns. Got lots of my lots of my former UK players floating through here. Oh, was there a camo that I missed for Dario Saric? I didn't see it go through. Where is it? Let me go back here and see if I can find it. The tell you what, the light bouncing off of here is about to put me over the edge too. Thank you for catching that, J503. I can't believe I uh, I didn't even see it when it went through the first time. So there is the Dario with the camo parallel. Thank you very much for flagging that. Occasionally, guys, I will miss one as it goes by. Of course, you're still going to get it in the mail if it's your team, but I mean just miss announcing it I, some, sometimes. A little Carl Anthony Towns in the red parallel. Malik Beasley in the blue. And then another Brandon Ingram. DeMontis Sabonis, red parallel. Nowitzki in the blue parallel. Little Denzel Valentine. There's red parallel Brooke Lopez. And Mark Gasol, red parallel. Went Steph Curry. All right. So here's what we are going to do before we recap. We're going to deal with uh, um, Carl. No, Tops clearly authentic is after basketball tonight. So um, we have a few more basketball breaks to do. None of them have a lot of cards in them. I would say probably clearly authentic's maybe 20 minutes away. Something like that. It's a rough guess. All right, so this little Kenny Smith here, because he is on this card in the capacity of uh, Voices of the Game, which is an announcer, so he is going to go into random. So give me one second. I'm going to cut and paste all of our teams, and then we'll figure out where it goes from there. All right, so here's all 30 of our basketball teams. I'm just going to scroll up through there so you can see they're all listed there. And Sacramento Kings end up with that. And bear with me, I'm going to put this in. I'm going to put this in a sleeve so that I can write on the sleeve that it was to the Kings so that I do not forget where I am supposed to send it off. All right. So to recap, the Kenny Smith uh, via random to the Kings. And let's, we may as well just take a look at our other stuff too. Our leather rookies were Jokic, Booker, Vaughn, and Harrell. Our numbered cards out of threads, that one to 99. Well, those aren't. All of that one as well. All three of those were to 99. Our two little die cut jerseys here. Or for Tony Parker and Sam Decker. Our parallels in mosaic prism. Of course, you can see by the border which are the red, which are the blue. And then we did have the one camo in there. Then our hits. And you know what? We did pretty well, honestly, because both times, last week and this week, it was just the loose boxes of mosaic and we hit a signature both times so i think we came out all right on that so tyler Eulis uh, signature hit for the suns then for the jazz dante exum materials to 199 the carl malone materials to 199 and the trey lyles material and signature to 199 that's the number of the hour isn't it on threads tonight and then, of course, that was also in threads, but we already dealt with it. So 
give me one second to move uh, this part onto the sorting mat. And then we're going to buzz into, I think, Timeless Treasures is next, if I am remembering correctly. Yeah, it looks like it is. So let's get that spreadsheet up. And this is one box of 2012-13, one box of 2013-14 Panini Timeless Treasures Basketball. This is break number 14 of this combination. Same format that you saw before, anything that says no bids buyback. That's just uh, an orphan team. Anything comes out for it, it hangs out here with me. Otherwise, it goes out to you, to one of you anyway. And if you have not, I think most of you, if not all of you, have done a break with me before on these 2012 products. But there's a couple of things you should know about them. First one is that all of the 2012-2013 Panini products are going to have a bonus pack of cards inside of them called Kobe Anthology. And usually it's base cards. One time we pulled a signature hit. I think it was numbered to eight or something. But usually it's uh, base cards. If they're base cards, they don't ship out because they're common and they're not even worth the price of postage. They literally put them free in every piece, uh, in every 2012-13 basketball product that was out there. But what, I, what I'm doing with these is kind of putting all these Kobe anthologies in a pile and then I will periodically take them and drop them off at the children's hospital or something like that. And if you ever want to know about anything like that, uh, all of that kind of information is at the bottom of every listing description down there in that special circumstances area. This, that particular one, of course, would be under bonus packs. So let's look at the 1213 first, which, by the way, if you don't remember this already, our 2011-2012 uh, rookies are also in the 2012-2013 products, and that is because of the lockout in 11-12. So they're, it's a double rookie class in all the Panini products for 12-13, which is kind of one of the reasons I like to open it. Goran Dragic for the Suns. Our first hit out is Tiago Splitter for the Spurs. I don't see a whole lot of Tiago Splitter uh, autographs, actually. And that one is an on-card auto and numbered to 199. And again, I see maybe the, a little bit of, you know, kind of chipping and edge issues, but nothing really very, very, uh, very bad on that one. Marcus Thornton coming out for the Sacramento Kings, also on-card. Numbered to 199 as well. And again, you know, you can see some minor little chipping and things along the bottom. And a redemption. We're going to set that one aside for a minute in case we find another redemption in our other pack. So here's what that redemption is going to do for you guys. It is going to be expired. This is to 299 Enos Cantor. But you do still want to redeem it. Blake Griffin for the Clippers on the materials hit to 49. And Eric Murphy for the Bulls. That is material and signature. And let's see if I can, that might make it show up a little bit better. It's kind of hard when you can see right through those cards. They don't always show up great. But so there's your Eric Murphy. And Corey Brewer. For the T-Wolves, that one is a sticker auto. And then an insert for the Bucks with uh, Bob Dandridge numbered to 10, 5 of 10. So nice low numbered insert for the Bucks. And again, you know, you can see tiny little bits of uh, chipping and stuff on there. So our redemption, back to this. Go ahead and redeem it in your account. If they have the card, they'll usually send it to you within six or eight weeks. If you haven't seen anything within six or eight weeks, then I would suggest that you reach out to, <coughs> excuse me, reach out to them. I recommend via Twitter. And the guy's handle is at Panini CSM and tell him, hey, you've got an expired redemption in your account. It's been in there six or eight weeks. Can he help you out with it? And usually what will happen is uh, they will then 
substitute either same player different card set or sometimes a totally different player if they don't have that one and they base it kind of on they'll ask you though you know like who your favorite players are who your favorite teams are that kind of thing what does that say again glass rookie autographs and they base it on value so like if you choose you know something crazy that's worth tons of money and your card is worth like five dollars they're gonna tell you no but if you choose something that's somewhat comparable they're gonna work with you on it the point is they usually send you something okay so this chris copeland according to the checklist which is what i've been pulling up here is going to be numbered to 4.99 and it is for the knicks You guys know I always pull up the checklist on Tops and Panini whenever it is available so that we can make sure something's going to the right place. So to recap Timeless Treasures, we have the Chris Copeland Glass Rookie Autographs for the Knicks to $4.99. Corey Brewer Sticker Auto for the T-Wolves. The Eric, uh, Eric Murphy for the Bulls. The autograph and material. Then the Blake Griffin material to 49 for the Clippers. Marcus Thornton for the Kings on card auto, numbered to 199. Tiago Splitter for the Spurs, numbered to 199. And even though this isn't technically a hit because it's not material or signature, it's still pretty darn cool, I think. And, uh, you know, it's numbered to 10, which I think is pretty nice. So. So I'm on board with that. All right, that is Timeless Treasures all rolled up and ready to go. And what is up after that? Is it Leaf Best of Basketball or Innovation? I can't even remember. Let's see. It is Innovation, I think, actually. You guys know Innovation is one of my favorites. I love opening it. So this is one box of 2012-13 and one box of 2013-14 Panini Innovation Basketball. This is break number 26 of it in that combination. And same format. We'll just buzz down through here and give everybody a chance to see their name next to their team. We pull a lot of uh, Kobe Bryant out of... What did I just do? I switched my view and switch your view. That's what happened. So we have pulled a fair amount of Kobe Bryant out of innovation. We've pulled um, we've pulled uh, Giannis, the Greek freak. We've pulled his rookie card autograph. Well, it was a redemption for his rookie auto autograph card out of here. And lots of other cool stuff too. In general, innovations a product I really like. I kind of wish they had kept it, but they didn't. Because this was a nice kind of like, you know, reasonably priced product with a nice hits in it, a reasonable number of cards. There's lots of products like that for football, but they don't make that many of them for basketball. Seems like everything's with 20,000 base cards, you know, and a few hits. And we'd rather have, well, I'd rather have anyway, more like this. All right, we have a little uh, Gortat when he was with the Suns. First up, Deron Williams for the Nets, David Robinson for the Spurs, Chris Paul for the Clippers. It would be nice if this was signed, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be an insert. And it is passing grade. And you know what? I think this might be this might be the first time we've pulled a passing grade insert out of all the times we've opened this. So. That might be, uh, I don't know, we'd have to check the we have to check the price book on that one, but that might be decent. Another redemption, we'll get to that in a minute. For the Lakers, Robert Sacre, is that how you say his name, maybe? Sucre, I don't know, something like that. For the Lakers, for the Knicks, Kurt Thomas. And that one is numbered to 199 on the jersey hit. 
of little Jan Vesely for the Wizards rookie, and that is, I think, considered the laser cut, if you're looking it up online for any reason. That one is numbered to 349. Then our Redemption, which we will checklist verify. Oh, but that's a nice one, George Hill. George Hill is a good one to pull. Pacer, I believe he's going to be, but we'll... We'll wander over to the checklist and uh, pull it up momentarily. Stained glass for Dwayne Wade out for the Miami Heat. This is out of 1314, though. When you pull stained glass out of 1213, some of those are worth uh, a little bit of money. They were a little more common in 1314 than they were in the first 1213. Eric Bledsoe materials hit for the Suns. Definitely have a problem down here in the lower right corner. You can see a lot of white down there where that card is chipped on that lower edge. A hit for the Celtics with a Scott Wedman, Weedman. Top notch autographs. That is a sticker auto and it is numbered to 325 for the Celtics. Foundation Inc. Anthony Mason for the Heat. That's a nice one. Numbered to 199. And again, you can see some white along those bottom edges and corners. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge for the Blazers. That is a Juggernauts insert. And little Dennis Schroeder to 199 for the Hawks. Now let's go back to our friendly checklist here and look up Mr. George Hill. And you guys got to give me a minute because uh, it takes a little while to go through this drop-down menu on the Panini website. You have to select what seems like 100 things before you can get to what you actually want to see. All right, there's Innovation, and the card set is what? Innovative Ink. And I guess this one is not numbered. It doesn't have a number on the checklist, so I'm going to assume this is an open edition George Hill for the Pacers. Um, but still, you know, still a cool hit, even though it's not numbered. Still nice to have. So let's, we'll just recap. Uh, we've really only got three or four base cards. We'll just recap all this real quickly. Our two inserts, Clippers and Blazers. Had the one stained glass for the heat. Then we have our two die cuts. Those are for the Hawks and the Wizards. Signature for the heat with the Anthony Mason. Signature Scott Wedman for the Celtics. Materials hit uh, Eric Bledsoe for the Suns. Materials hit for the Knicks. And signature hit for the Lakers. And then, of course, our George Hill Redemption for the Pacers. So that is innovation. And I think Leaf Best of Basketball is next. And if you guys didn't see what came out of the first Leaf Best of Basketball, man, you missed it because it was a Steph Curry rookie card graded to, what was it right, graded to, nine guys? Is that right? Jess Lett, you were watching the other night, I think. Was that Curry to nine? Or was it, I think it was nine. Anyway, it was pretty darn sweet pulling a Steph Curry rookie out of here. So this is one box of 2017 Leaf Best of Basketball. This is break number two. Team names are, are uh, listed down through here, as you are accustomed to seeing. There is one difference in this, and there was uh, that is because there was a separate bidding category for the Magic Johnson commemorative card, which will be inside this box. And you will see that is right there. And so that card automatically goes to this bidder because that card, you know, the Magic Johnson uh, commemorative card is guaranteed in the 2017 Leaf Best of Basketball. So there's one of those in every box. There's a series of, uh, I don't know, a few different Magic Johnson commemoratives available in here. And supposedly some of them, not supposedly, definitely, some of them uh, include randomly inserted autographs. So maybe we'll get lucky and pull that up there. 
for our Magic Johnson commemorative card bidder. And the same thing when we do Leaf Best of Football. You know, there's a Rookie of the Year predictor card in there, and it also has its own bidding category. And this is just a little advertising card. Here is our Magic Johnson commemorative card. And again, that goes to its own category. So it doesn't go to a team. It goes to the person that bid on the Magic Johnson commemorative category. And our hit in here is a Laker Brandon Ingram die cut rookie autograph. Is that numbered in select? I'm trying to see if it's, uh, yeah, it's numbered to 99. So the Lakers with our hit here on the Brandon Ingram Rookie die cut out of select numbered to 99 and graded to 9. So another nice hit coming out of Leaf Best of Basketball. Of course, it's going to be hard to top that Steph Curry. I mean, that was, that was just an unbelievably sweet pull. <laughs> Next is going to bring us up to our NBA private signings. We have two different boxes here. They're already numbered because we had three on Thursday, but we opened one. So now we have two, and they're numbered one and three. So when we switch over, uh, I will let random decide which one of those we open, number one or number three. So here's the, here is the spreadsheet for this break. This is one box of 2016-17 Panini Private Signings NBA, and this is break number five for it. And you know what? So far, we've pulled some pretty good stuff out of this, including the Brogdon uh, rookie to 25. I think it was to 25 that we pulled on Thursday. So if we pull something good again tonight, I'll probably go ahead and buy some more of these uh, beyond the one that obviously we have left after tonight. Probably buy some more if it's a decent pull again. Because I like them. I think they're fun. And they have a lot of good stuff in them. And... You know, you can pull one of ones much easier in that than you can in anything else. And most of the cards you get in here are pretty nice. So you'll see there that I've typed in one and three because that's what our boxes are numbered, one and three. I'm going to hit random three times. Whichever ends up at the end of the third random is the one we will open tonight. So there goes the first one, the second, the third, and final time. And we are opening box number one from our two boxes so this one with number three on it that one we will open in the next uh, basketball break which by the way uh, you know what comes out next week or on Wednesday is the draft 2017 well 2017-18 Panini draft contenders is what is coming out so we're going to be breaking a case of that too it's going to be a chance to pull some of our early rookie autographs so our hit tonight is for the raptors and it is pascal whose last name i never say right and it is numbered to 25 one of 25 nice two color patch there sticker auto and that is a pretty uh pretty nice looking card as well and another one of our rookies who's going to be pretty good i think Seems like he's going to be anyway. So Raptors taking home the card out of private signings. And for everybody who's in basketball and getting ready to jump off here, thank you guys. I appreciate you. And I hope that I will see you again. I probably am going to list that draft contenders. Um, probably first break on it will be Friday night and then we'll we'll break some Friday we'll break some more on Saturday is kind of what I'm thinking so uh, keep an eye out for that I'm sure I'll throw in some other basketball breaks on Friday night as well to go along with the contenders so hopefully I will see you again for that in the meantime thanks guys I appreciate you and now it's time for baseball and we're doing a full case tonight, which is 20 boxes of 2017 Topps Clearly Authentic Baseball. This is break number six. You will see there are four teams in here that say no hits in the product. And so those teams were not listed for sale on eBay because they literally have no hits available in the product. 
And any time that I'm aware of a situation like that, you know, I don't list the team, obviously, you know, not trying to, not trying to put one over on anybody. Now, occasionally there might be something that I'm not aware of where there's a, a team that doesn't have a hit and I don't know about it. But if someone tells me, of course, I always uh, take care of it and then we don't, we don't list them anymore. So after this case tonight, there is only one more case of Clearly Authentic. So this is the next to last, and then we'll have one more after this, and then we'll be out of it, which honestly makes me kind of sad because I really like this product. I, I do wish they did a little better job uh, with randomizing it, I will say that. In some cases, definitely, it seems like they do a better job randomizing than they do with others. But just in general, I wish that they would um, do a little bit better job with that. Because sometimes we pull multiples for the same team out of one case, and then other teams, you know, don't get anything. Which, I mean, I guess is true across all products, but maybe just more noticeable in this one because there's just one card per box. Of course, we will have uh, two case hits in here, and our case hits will be reprint cards, as in cards from past years, reprinted on the new acetate uh, technology that they use for this series. And, of course, they'll still be on-card autos like our current players are. And we've pulled some really nice ones. We've pulled Johnny Bench, Frank Robinson, Nolan Ryan, um, Ozzie Smith. I think we pulled a Buster Posey. Uh, it was his rookie card reprint. I mean, the case hits in here are pretty sweet. And we will find two of those. And then everything else will be our current players. All right, I gotta make a little more room to get the plastic off this last group here. I don't think I thought that through very well about how to stack those up, did I? <laughs> ah, well. Live and learn, live and learn. We have pulled Smear and Judge out of here. Someone sent me a message and asked me, had we pulled an Aaron Judge out of here? We did. We pulled, it was a redemption. It's not live in the product, but we did pull some Aaron Judge. We've pulled some really nice Ben and Tendies. Uh, we've pulled, well, we pulled, I would say, the majority of our high profile rookies we've pulled. I don't know if I've, I don't remember seeing a Moncada yet. Maybe we did and I've forgotten it, but I don't remember seeing it. Right off the bat, which seems to be a lot of the times, the first card we pull out is a Cardinal, and that's the case again tonight. Alex Reyes, 250, is first out. And speaking of Aaron Judge, how about another one? Yeah, and you know what? The Yankees bought in really inexpensively tonight. I think this is the lowest the Yankees have been for a case of clearly authentic, maybe in total, out of all the cases I've broken. And boom, there's another Aaron Judge redemption for you. So there's a couple now we've pulled for Mr. Judge out of here. So somebody's very happy. A little Ryan Healy for the A's. Oh, Carl, you have the Aaron Judge tonight? You had the Yankees tonight? Nice hit, man. And speaking of an Ozzie Smith case hit, how about if we hit Ozzie again? Yeah, here he is. Uh, this is numbered to 135. Another nice hit for the Cardinals. And I was also messaging with somebody back and forth. We were talking about the Cardinals, and I said, you know, Cardinals come out of clearly authentic, like, a lot. And... 
Yeah, I think we're following that, that pattern again tonight. Roman Quinn to 50 for the Phillies. Oh, you had the other, you had the first Aaron Judge we pulled. Cool. Excellent. Well, then you're still in the money, man. Still in the money. A little Alex Bregman to 99 for the Astros. Another hit for the Phillies, Alfaro. That one does not appear to be numbered that I'm seeing anyway. Hey, Hunter Dozier for the Royals to 99. Nice to see the Royals getting a hit. The Mets with Seth Lugo. That one does not appear to be numbered. And how about a pair of Hunter Dozier's? The other one, I think, was numbered, wasn't it? And this, yeah, the other one was numbered. This one is not. But you have a little matched set there for the Royals. Oh, Carl, you need a Red Sox, a good Red Sox tonight. All right, well, let's see if we can find you a Ben Benintendi in here. We've been pulling him a lot out of here lately. Michael Fulmer for the Tigers. Oh, yeah, you did say you spent a lot of money the other night on when you got the judge. Well, you know what, though? That Aaron Judge, that's going to be... That's going to be a good one, and you you know you get the redemption in, and as soon as they get them in, if you if you're in the buying it in the mindset of selling it, just you know turn around and sell that bad boy. You'll get a lot of that money back. There's a red sock for you with Chris Sale. That one is not numbered. Another hit for the Yanks, Tyler Austin to ninety nine. Yeah, I would say tonight is probably the first time the Yankees in a case break have sold for less than $100 probably all year. So somebody got a major bargain tonight. Oh, how about some Nolan Ryan? Very nice. And you know what? I'm going to have to go to the checklist on this particular one because the other Nolan Ryan that we pulled was live in the case and it was for the Mets. But... So I know he has a case hit for the Mets that's live. This Nolan Ryan being a redemption probably is going to be for a different team, I would assume. Probably the Rangers, but we'll go to the checklist and verify that. For the Indians, how about a little Corey Kluber, 250 Oh, it's the it's the Angels, you think, on the... Oh, you already have one, so the Nolan Ryan's going to be for the Angels? Okay. Well, you know me. I still go to the checklist and check it out, but that is, that is good to know. Thank you. <laughs> There's another Cardinal to 99. Here is another Met. This one is Robert Gelman. It's been a pretty good case so far with the Judge and the Nolan Ryan and the Ozzy Smith. Jake Thompson for the Phillies. Phillies have had several hits in here. Dodgers are on the board with a little Andrew Tolls to 99. Last one. Last one. Oh, nice. Sweet Joey Votto for my Cincinnati Reds. I've pulled a good Red out of, uh, a good Reds player out of all, maybe not every box of Clearly Authentic, but out of a lot of them. I mean, the Frank Robinson, the Johnny Bench, now the Joey Votto. All right, I have to go checklist both of these. We obviously, we know Aaron Judge is going to be the Yankees and, uh, Carl told us that Nolan Ryan's going to be the Angels, but you know me. I'm still wandering over there to that checklist to take care of it, so bear with me while I pull that up, please, and then we will recap everything. 
And I can't see chat while I'm doing this, just FYI, because um, I'm using the secondary device to pull up the checklist. Okay, so of course there is Aaron Judge on there as a Yankee, which we knew. Now we need to pull up the reprint for Nolan Ryan, and I got to make sure that I get the right uh, uh, C A R A U N R Y. Yep, California Angels, just as Carl told us it was going to be. So, excellent. Let's rock and roll through our recap. This Nolan Ryan checklist verified as going to the Angels. Isn't it weird, though, that like he was live in there for one of the teams? He was live in there for the Mets, but it's a redemption for the Angels. Like, did he run out of ink in his pen or what? <laughs> then the Aaron Judge redemption for the Yankees. Dodgers. Reds. And this, you know what? Reds, again, sold pretty inexpensively tonight. And that's a sweet little hit for the Reds. Mets. Cardinals, Indians, Red Sox, Tigers, Royals, Mets again, Royals again, Phillies, another one for the Yankees. All the little magnetic closures try to stick to one another. Another one for the Phillies, Astros, Phillies, Cardinals, A's, and Cardinals. So guys, this clearly authentic. Um, look for this to go out most likely on Wednesday. That's, you know, we've got the holiday on Monday, so no mail service on Monday. Um, so I'm anticipating this to go out on Wednesday. If I can get it out to you sooner, I will. We have one case of Clearly Authentic left. I think it's already listed. I don't remember what night it ends, but it's going to be sometime soon within the next, uh, within the next, few, the next few nights and the next four or five nights anyway. And that will be our last case of Clearly Authentic. And in the meantime, I've got some other baseball stuff. I just haven't gotten it listed yet, so we'll get on that, uh, we'll get on that before too long as well. So thank you, everybody. I appreciate you very much. Always appreciate the bids. I appreciate you breaking with me, chatting with me, keeping me company, and all of that stuff. So, um, oh, Carl is telling me that Ryan sells for $4,200. Holy crap. Oh, no. He, that was a typo. Okay. <laughs> I didn't scroll down far enough. The, the Ryan sells for $200. I was like, $4,200? That's insane. I was thinking it was a one of one maybe. Okay. So $200 is a little more like it. But yeah, I think you did all right tonight, man. Uh, anytime you get a Nolan Ryan, I think you're doing pretty well, in my opinion. Especially on card auto. So, so yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much. I hope I'll see you again on another break. And... Um, Look for this stuff to head out the door on Wednesday. Enjoy our long holiday weekend. We'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.